if you want to sign into MailChimp, you go to MailChimp.com, click the login button, and you log in. Um, from here, you want to go. You have a list of customers, right? If you, if you click on lists up the top, you've got your big commerce list. Right, no one signed up because you haven't had any customers yet. But you can add people manually. If you click on the list, you can go, um, where is it? You click the subscribe button. So say if you, you know that people will want to be in your list, you can, you can manually click subscribe and you can add your email address and first name and last. Or you can go back and you can import a um, CSV file. So if you have like a list of people that you want to import, you can open it up in Excel and click start a new import. And there's all these different options to import from. So you can upload from a file or an Excel file and do it that way. But I'll go back to the dashboard. So say if you have a list of people, there's 20 people on there for example. You want to go create, create a campaign a regular old campaign and it's asking to which list shall we send it to? Well we want to send it to the big commerce newsletter subscribers. Send to this list. Click next on the bottom right. Name your campaign, newsletter January newsletter I'm going to give it a sublet, subject, um, you have a new website, right? Anyway, you fill in that stuff, click next, and the next stage is design. And you select a template from one of your templates, and you choose this one. And then basically, You want to click in these boxes here, so if you want to change this text, just like in Word here, you can, this is some um, text, so you type in the message, right? And you can insert an image in there too, by clicking insert an image, so you can click there. You can upload a picture and put it in that box. And you can click in this bit and type and type in your text. And once you've done that, you go next. So once you've filled in all the info, yes, this is fine. Just leave that as it is and click next. And then it's just saying your list has no subscribers yet. That's why it's yelling at us. Um, then you want to just go preview and test and then follow the prompts. And that's how you send a newsletter out. You can send one to yourself. You can schedule for a delivery maybe tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. if you think that's going to be more beneficial to you. Or you can send a test email to yourself first and then see how it looks to make sure it looks okay before you send it. And then after that, you click send. It sends out to all these subscribers. Now once that happens, you'll be able to log in and your campaign stats will show up here in the dashboard. And you'll be able to see in real time who's clicked on what, who's opened the email, if they've clicked a link or whatever. So it's really, really good. But um, hopefully that helps. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.